Hey everybody, it's Settler38 here. Finally got in something new to open up. I did that video last night where I was trying to figure out if anybody had some trades, but for at least the time being, I'll have my itch scratched here with Heritage Minor League from 2020, throwing back stuff to 1971, of course. And we're looking for the on-card auto and then probably a patch as well. So, let's see what we've got here. I'm trying not to wiggle this too much because I'm not on my typical stand. You've got a discussion of Top's Greatest Moments autograph. There's a parallel for 1 in 82, but there's not too much extra. Two chances here to do your prey, prey debut, pro debut with the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs up in Pennsylvania, I believe. So, let's see what we got here. I forgot my knife, so this will be fun. There we go. That was actually easier than I thought. Love the color scheme going on here. You have this orangish color. I think it's very traditional yellow, yellowish orange. Have the old Tops logo. You got that baseball's greatest moments here we'll leave that for the end or when things start to dry up a bit and i adore this purple this is definitely halloween sort of colors makes sense because it's the beginning ish of october we'll open up these packs see what we hit i think that might be our relic hit that i just grabbed This was actually really cheap. I think I wanted, or I think it was 55 bucks for the entire box. And again, this is just minor league people looking for Rushman here. Let's have these packs on up in a few stacks, and we'll see what we can get into shortly. It was actually the first opening I did was Heritage at a. Retail box of that I didn't end up getting much of anything besides a uh, Yuli Gariel uh, foil card. Which looks sharp admittedly, but there wasn't too much to be had value-wise. Alright, let's see how this compares to Pro Debut, which is one of my favorite openings that I've done so far this year. Let's give this a little more light. Move the microphone a bit. Kanon Smith from the River Dogs. Now, if you hadn't seen the packs of Heritage previously, this is what this looks like. Nice green background with a black and white picture. Cal Raleigh. Uh, they even have these World Series style things. Bradley Zimmer. And this is for... Oh, man. As the Clippers, back from my hometown, I think I was watching them back when Jeter was a part of them. Uh, I don't recall what year it was, but it was very early 90s. Maybe 91, 92, 93. Ethan Lindell. Mark Vientos for the Fireflies. Michael Togila, Toglia. Grant Levine. And Francisco Alvarez. That's pretty cool. It talks about first year in pro ball, 2019. So nice new players. I don't think I showed the odds here. You can obviously look at these if you pause it. But we have base parallels, seeing scratch-off cards, test cards, real one autographs, image variations, border removals. A whole slew of fun things to look for this time around, even if you don't know a ton of these players. Pack number two. There we go. Andres Gimenez. Hey, there's a mini that just fell out. There we go. Great mini here. Alec Bohm, who is pretty hot this year in his limited time up in the bigs. And these are similar to those sticker cards that were present in uh, the main part of Heritage. I don't have any tiny sleeves for that. That's in the shot, I suppose. 
All right. Jared Oliva. Tyler Freeman. Brady Singer. Let's see exactly what happens to the minor leagues as a result of everything this next year. Kloffenstein. Geraldo. And Isabel. I think that the actual breakdown of these players, uh, at least these first two packs, I haven't heard of quite as many of them. Feel free to let me know who I'm looking for uh, as the video progresses. I mean, I've heard of the big, big prospects, the Bushmans and the Bohms and everything, but some of these players I'm not too familiar with. Lugo, okay, Matt Lugo is the name I'm familiar with. Stever. There's a white bordered card here. Groshans. Oh, it's a scratch off card. These are pretty cool. Guess they're pushing this Francisco Alvarez pretty hard as a team captain. This is the scoreboard for that, how you do this. And if you look in the middle here, it's pretty cool. You'd scratch off to play a game with presumably one of your friends. If you've got any. I know I don't. Uh, but anyways, self-deprecating humor inside. It's another parallel set here that we haven't seen yet. We've got these in the style of the rookies, uh, home run leaders this time. Diaz, innings leaders, Mingo Robles here, and Mason Martin. Keep these cards against to the side. Jumbo Shrimp. I can go for some right now. Edward Cabrera. Grant Gambrell and the Chukars. I wonder what that actually means. I've never heard of that term. Sean Jelly or Jelly. Josiah Gray for the Tulsa Drillers, right up the road from us. Brent, Brent Honeywell definitely picked up a few of his cards in a prism. Trevor Larnick and Logan Gilbert. We'll look at the backs too to see if there's anything odd there. I'm only really looking at the fronts of the cards to begin this box so the video doesn't end up being too terribly long. Sod Poodles. Aaron Ashby. He's what, the nephew of Alan Ashby? Nate Pearson. Campusano. Here's some players I'm more familiar with. Jake Sanford. Christian Robinson. And Jimenez. All right, final part of the first sleeve here. Kessinger, O'Neill Cruz, from the curve. Ian Anderson, all right. He had some time up in the big leagues this year, right? Yeah, from the Braves. And Dylan Carlson, okay, we're starting to get some players that. Oh, here's our congratulations here. Make sure there's not a weird. Yeah, there's a code. So if you open a box of these and you actually open the full box, you'll get one of these. It has a little scratch off here. And if you win, you'll get a pro debut. You'll have a baseball card in the tops pro debut, it looks like. Uh, 18 and older for that. So if you have your family, you might need to actually take one for the team and be that pro star for a second or semi-pro. Sam Huff, up for the Rangers, right? Tanaj Thomas and Evan White. A bit sleepy at that first sleeve in terms of major prospects, but it's getting better as we move on. Definitely better than the first box of Heritage I opened this year. Another mini that's sneaking through here. Jeremiah Jackson. Cabello. Pacific Coast League uh, Divisional Series. Abiato Avellino. Parker Meadows. 
Oh, we're hitting all these big ones. This must be like the stars in these minis. JJ Blade. We have the River Cats celebrating. Beck. Mm hmm. Have a guest. What's up? Bailey Ober to end that pack. Yeah, what's up? It's recording. Can you give me a few minutes? Uh, I want some food. Okay. All right, and we're back. I had to get some food ready uh, for my daughter. All right, so. But runs leader from the minor league, Hunter Bishop. He's got uh, one of his cards out of Bowman Sapphire. Hopefully he's big. Matt Manning. Our second Iron Pigs thing that's guaranteed in the box. The Toledo Mud Hens. Matt Ackleman. Alternate curve for the saves leaders. Braylon Marquez and Greg Jones. Fantastic in-action picture there. All right. Those minis are about the saving grace of the box so far. Some names in here, but nothing too terribly limited. I mean, for a value price product, there's an OPG back, looks like. No, it's something else. We'll have to see what that is. Gabriel Cancel. Cancel. Vidal Brujan. People have been talking about him for a minute. Yeah, looks like he's doing all right. Dominican Republic player. Tommy Henry. Second Alec Bohm. This time, actual full-size card. Oh, it's another scratch-off. Okay. There we go. That's a scratch-off for sure that we want. An Adley scratch-off. This is about the best pack we've had so far. Garcia. William Contreras. And Tyler Stevenson. I guess we'll put the second scratch off up here. DL Hall, Mata, Bryce Turong. We've been talking about him as well. I guess he's all right. 30 stolen bases in the season. There's a Adley. Christian Casas. Helio Ramos, another player to be on the lookout for. Brennan Davis and Bo Naylor. Rodriguez is a blue card. I'm not sure if that's the third one of those or something. Brett Rooker. Jackson Rutledge. People have been high on him. Glenn Allen Hill Jr. Another person people have been talking about a bit. Ah, here we go. This is what I was seeing earlier. Blue card. Is this just a parallel or a numbered? That's a pretty low number on that. That is Cancel 27 out of 99. Uh, let's see, 2015 has been around for a while. His average is 259. Maybe not the best player to get a numbered hit, but we're not going to argue with a numbered hit regardless. Oh, he's in northwest Arkansas. That's a few hours up the road. We're over by oh, who are the Travelers in Little Rock. Marco Luciano, Kirillov, and Daniel Lynch. These packs on the floor. Last part here. This should be where our hits are coming. Unless I absolutely missed one. There's something that looks like another scratch off game coming up. Jordan Adams, Miguel Amaya. Had a few of these in Bowman, I believe. Kiebert Ruiz. I want to say that name somebody, but I'm not entirely sure. 
Our third of these scratch-offs, we have Riley Green. Let's see what the differences are with the colors. Ryan Rollison, Bobby Dalbeck, and some American flag jersey here. Aaron Brocco, and Hudson Head. I don't know if he's related to Murray Head. That's a bad joke, I'm sure, but... Oh, well. I'm presuming most people won't know what I'm talking about. Last few packs of the day. Feels like we might have a mini in here. Uh, Tarpons, Estevan Floreal. Heard that name. Cole Wynn for the Crawdads. Joey Bart. Yeah, these minis are just awesome all around. Matt Allen. Pacific Coast League Game 2 this time with Christian Adames. Victor Victor Mesa. And TJ Sikama. Six does Sanchez. I know people are starting to collect him pretty hard now. Elujeros Montero. Kyle Mueller. Shane McClanahan. Ronnie Mauricio. Grayson Rodriguez. Chris Bubik. And Litamaro Vargas. Unless I missed somebody that was kind of a weaker pack. Hopefully all of them end up with amazing seasons no matter what positions they play and they'll be a bomb pack five years from now right that's what we're all hoping for i have a white card coming up here i don't know if that's a patch or another one of these uh scratch offs bobby bradley jr miguel vargas i think again joe ryan Tariq scuball over here on the strikeout le leaders yeah this is our hit Congratulations. We have Miguel Maya Clubhouse Connection Collection. Excuse me. We have Brennan Malone and a Bryson Stott to end that. At least for our patch hit, we got a name that I'm pretty familiar with. Myrtle Beach Pelicans. Miguel Maya. This is actually game used as opposed to game worn. So, good get. We'll put Stott in the hit pile. Last three packs are our signature. Unless I missed it, should be somewhere around here. Jesus Sanchez, Perduis Nova, Perdomo, rocking that. Uh, shot everybody likes off different players with the shades. Hankins. Christian Posh, I know people are definitely up on him. Put that aside, too, as one of our bigger hits. Walner, Olivares, Cavaco. Last two packs. We got another scratch-off game. Simeon's Woods Richardson. Swaggerty. Love his name. Brandon Marsh. So we've gotten, what, three of these blue and one red? Is that what happens? Brandon Shoemake. Hudson Potts. We just got a card of Libertoria off of our uh, Prime Pack. That's cool to see him on this uh, thing that he's still active. Definitely coming up through the cards organization. That's what he's at now, I think. Ulrich Bojarski and Rochio. So, compared to my box of Major League Heritage, a lot better. I had to throw in a little bit more inducement for people to want to pick up these boxes, though. All right, final pack. Matos, Mountcastle, so another solid player right there. Vavra, Paguero, Josh Lowe, Michael Bush. Gabriel Arias, and Volp at the end. I'm unsure exactly 
what I'm missing here. I don't see the signature. Might have to let everybody go after the end here. Oh, we've got our greatest moments one. Perhaps that's what the signature is. Let's crack that open. I nearly forgot about that. So one last time for that. Pretty cool vintage look. What I don't like about tops here is that I don't have these weird penny sleeves for odd sized cards. I've seen people try to Frankenstein these and it never looks convincing and I always worry about ding corners and everything. Alright, so there we go. Not signed, but that's awesome. Wander Franco. Franco soars with four. Talking about four hit performance in 2019. Four for six that day. That's not signed. It's got a little bit of a ding on it. These are kind of hard to make sure that they are absolutely pristine. Especially when I clink it against the thing. Wow. We had a fun day of things. Let's try to go through these hits. Come back. There we go. Volp, Mountain Castle, Bujarski, Libertore, at least for personal. Swaggerty, Stott, Sixto Sanchez, Victor Victor Mesa, Esteban Florial, Dahlbeck, Riley Green, Amaya, Kirilov, Glenn Allen Hill Jr., Rutledge, Ramos, Rutschman, Alec Bohm, Bishop, Sam Huff, Carlson, the Redbirds, Ian Anderson, Aaron Ashby as a future star, and Brent Honeywell. We had a few good minis that are stuck through here. Triple B's, Blade, Bart, Bohm. We got the Amaya patch. We got the Council out of 99. And now let's see here, since that one was red, if there's anything different about this one. I think there's two different sets. Yeah, a few different scratch-offs as well. I'm going to have to come back and figure out where the signature was. I'm guessing I missed a real signature amongst all of these. We'll be back in a second. All right, last time... To check back in we have our sign card look at this it's blue on the black printed version i don't know why they didn't do it similar to what they have here with the no signature blue cancel just to leave that off and have mr lindo go and do his own signature over something very hard to find anyways i had some other good news short prints are above 200 this time so it means that we got a short print of Posh, Rushman, and Nate Pearson. So two out of three ain't bad. I'm not familiar with Nate Pearson. Maybe it's three out of three in terms of good players. Anyways, if you can find it around your neck of the woods, definitely check out this Topps Heritage 2020 Minor League. Has some fun rips and a bunch of people that will be very big very soon. This has been Settler38. Have a fantastic rest of your day.